going on YouTube? So, for those of you following the channel, I am waiting on my engine to come back. It is a 408 cleaver. I had some oopsies that happened, and while I'm waiting for the engine to come back, I figured I would work on another project. So, I'm working on these lights here. You can see this one, this is an 86, and I have flush mounted the light here. The factory one, not so much fun. I, I've never liked these. I just think it looks stupid. So what I'm doing is cutting, um, cutting a little bit of the bumper cover and then redoing the mount for this, for the turn signal. So the other one is already done. You can see I love how I love how it looks. It, it just looks a lot better. It's a lot more even with the front of the bumper. Um, I was going to try to do an actual flush mount, but the opening is a different size than the actual lens, so I figured it'd look a little bit better just just tucked in there hair instead of recessed back in there like this. So I'm getting rid of the the recess and bringing the lens a little farther forward and I'll show you how I'll show you how I did that it's pretty easy so like I said for those of you guys following the channel still wait on the engine to come back we did a little bit of paint clean things up a little bit and now we need the engine so in the meantime trying to button up a few loose ends of some other projects here and there so that I can get this thing ready to run. I've done a lot of painting, a lot of cleaning up, a lot of tidying up of a lot of things, so I'm ready to get back together and drive it. So, But for now, we're gonna work on the turn signals because it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. So the engine I should have back maybe this weekend, it's done, I just have to go pick it up. So work's been killing me lately. So I gotta go pick the engine up and then I'll be getting it back in, and then brake in period on the engine, um, and the clutch, and um, brakes. There's a whole heck of a lot coming, so <laughs> let's uh, let's get these lights done, and then we'll talk some more about it. So if you guys are new to the channel, I've got hats, and I've got some stickers, and a couple of other products. I'll put my website up here if you guys are interested. Help support the channel. Help support what we do here. I would appreciate it. Um, so first things first, you see we're working right up here. And what we've got to do is get this bracket off. So this bracket is held on by one, two, three bolts, and then the housing itself is held on by these two bolts here. So we're gonna take the light out, tuck it out of the way so we don't break it. And the next thing that we're gonna do is take out these two uh, 7 sixteenths and these three 9 sixteenths bolts, that would get everything all undone and ready for us to modify the bumper. So we've got the light out, um, brackets out. You can see there's nothing in there. Now the next step is gonna be to cut the excess material away from here. Now there's a bunch of different ways you could do it. I am going to, <clears throat> I'm gonna use my little rotary tool here with a cutoff wheel on it. Um, it worked really good on the other side. Um, took me maybe five or so minutes to cut through all of it. The same way that I am, make sure you wear some uh, PPE, masks, safety glasses, that whole deal. So, we got the bottom part done, the sides are done, just got to do that top piece and we're done. There we go. 
now I got this big piece out of there. Now what I'll do, go around and clean up these edges. And they actually clean up really well. If your car is more of a show car than mine, you probably want to take your time here, make sure you're not gouging into the paint or anything like that. My car is not. So I've got the, got the opening cleaned up as much as I care to. And now I'm going to put my light in from the back and we will see whereabouts we want it to sit. It's not going in quite like it did on the other side. What I want to do is get that over here a little bit. So we'll take a look. On this side again, you can see that I had it right up against here. There's a tiny gap over here. That's how I want it on this side too. Now the other thing I can do is try to flip the light around and go like this. See if maybe that helps. Yeah, there we go. That's all we gotta do. So I had to flip that light around, but otherwise it's good. Cool, so now that I've got it where I want it, what I'll do from the back side is remount it. piece of the puzzle is to make some new mounts for it. So these are the brackets that I'm going to use now. And I just cut these out of some uh, thin aluminum that I had laying around the shop here. So what I'm going to do is put a little bend in the end of these and then I will mark how far out I need to bend it again um, and these will hold the light in place. See here? So they'll, they'll bolt on to the back of the light through here and then I'll make another bend and this piece will line up with the um, old bolt holes for the old bracket. So we're going to reuse the old bolts, but just use new brackets. So we're going to drill a couple holes in these. There's a hole in the first one, so that'll bolt onto the back side of the, the housing. There we go, there's a second one. So these will go onto the back of the housing. And then we will mark it for another bend. So you can see we got the light up in there. And what I'm going to do, kind of see where I want it. I like it there. I'll take this guy out. I'm going to put these brackets that I just made onto the light. At this point, nothing's really going to be that tight. It's just uh, more so to hold it. That one on there, this one on here. There we go. Now I can still turn these and I can still adjust them a little bit. That's what I want. There we go. So that's right where I want it. Now what I need to do is mark the bolt holes. So what's so what's going to happen here is that this one right here is going to bend up and catch that bolt hole right up there. going to go straight down-ish. So that guy will be right about there we go. So you can see I got both of those marked where I want to bend them. So now I'm going to go put a bend on those and then I'll bring them back over here and mark for where I'm going to drill the hole where they bolt on. So one of those is going to attach here and the other is going to be up here. 
So now we've got these two on there. We'll go hold it up in place and mark for where we're going to drill a hole here. And that will be the final piece of the puzzle. So we'll just have those nice and snug. And we'll be able to adjust these and move these wherever we need to so that they line up with our bolt holes. So now that we've got so now we've got this all together and get it up in there and see where we want our holes at. See, that one's going to go right there. It's going to need a little bend. Probably right about there. And then this one, right about there. And we should be good. Okay. Now let's go drill our holes out, bolt it on, and we're almost done. And with this little bend here, I'm just going to take uh, some pliers that I've got, and we'll bend that over a little bit. It's all good. So, put this guy back in. There's that one. So, that one is right where I want. So, we're gonna, we're gonna tighten all these down. the light bulb. There we go. Now, let's look at the final product from the front. Well, maybe just my opinion, but I think that turned out perfect. I love where the placement is. I love how the lights look. They just, it just looks better. There's no bones about it. It's, it just looks better. Way better. Nice and sturdy. It ain't going nowhere. So let's see. Let's see how the blinkers look now with it like this. There we go. Man, I think that looks really good. I just love how clean it looks. It's all it's up nice and Close to the front of the bumper, it's not all recessed in there. Hey, look, and that piece that uh, that piece that I took out. See how much that was recessed in there? Yeah, I just didn't like that at all. I love this. And also, just for for marker lights or for parking lights, it just looks good. Well, guys, there's a finished product. Hope you think it's cool. I love it. I've been wanting to do that for a long time, and finally it's done. One more thing checked off the list. As for cleaver here, so this is going to be, it was, but a 408 cleaver. Uh, if you don't know what a cleaver is, I've got a bunch of videos about that. It's Cleveland Heads on a Windsor Block. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, long story short, my fuel pressure dropped to zero when I was under boost and spraying nitrous, and heard a bunch of stuff, had to do some rebuilding, Hence, no engine. Uh, it's got a TKO 600. Uh, we're going to have a McLeod RXT. Um, it's it's going to be a pretty good setup. I'm upgrading uh, some other things. Probably be around, my goal is around 800 at the wheels. We'll see. Uh, I'll spray nitrous until I get there. 
<laughs> but um, I've added a bunch of safeties for the fuel pressure um, so that if that happens again, at least the nitrous won't spray. I can't, uh, can't control the boost, but <sighs> we'll see. Should be another week before I, get, uh, before I get the engine back. We'll get it back in here. And then it's break-in period on uh, the clutch, on the engine. On... So we'll go through that process and then definitely going to give it uh, give it the onion. So thanks, guys. Appreciate you being here. Uh, let me know what you think about the, the turn signals in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. I'll put all my social media stuff here on the screen. I appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you want to grab some merch here, help me support what I do. I would really appreciate it. I've got stickers. I've got hats. I've got some shirts coming here in the near future. I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. It all goes to my race car. So thanks, guys. appreciate you watching. We'll see you later.